Hello, my name is Miho Saigusa, and I'm one of the members of the Aizuri Quartet, along with Emma Frucht, Ayane Kozasa, and Karen Uzunian. Today, we're going to take you inside the world of the Aizuri Quartet with a mini concert called Songs and Echoes of Home. This is a tasting menu from a full-length program that we took on tour this season. One of the things at the core of our quartet is our passion for programming, to create an experience from beginning to end, and to engage the power of storytelling through music. In Songs and Echoes of Home, each piece is inspired by a sense of homeland and national identity from a distance, one step removed by forces of geography, psychology, or even just the passing of time. Folk songs and folk music also play a powerful role in this program because they can tell all sorts of stories and speak directly to the heart. We're going to start with two selections from a song cycle by Antonin Dvorak called Cypresses. When you think of a Czech identity in classical music, the sound of Dvorak is definitely something that comes to mind. He set poetry that revels in the beauty of nature and explores both hopeful love and unrequited love. In these two songs, the poems are both set at nighttime. I love the first song because it feels like I'm running my hands through bolts of midnight blue velvet fabric. And in the second song, I can picture a very clear and starry night sky with sounds of nature in the distance. Dvorak himself wrote the quartet arrangement for these songs, and they are really beautiful and wistful songs without words.
Hi everyone, I'm Karen Uzunian and I'm the cellist of the Izuri Quartet. The next piece on our program is by an American composer, Lembit Beecher, and it's called These Memories May Be True. And this piece relates to the theme of homeland and distance in a few ways. Lembit grew up in California to an American father and an Estonian mother. And he wrote this quartet shortly after his Estonian grandmother passed away in 2012. It's inspired by her amazing life, and she really did have an amazing life and an amazing immigration story. She grew up in Estonia uh, before World War II. She survived the Nazi and Soviet occupations of the country. She actually lost her husband, tragically, during the chaos of the war. And she moved to Providence, Rhode Island with her two young daughters. And she lived the rest of her life there. She was a pianist and a music teacher. Lembit loved the way that she told these amazing stories of her life, full of a lot of animation and perhaps a little exaggeration. And this quartet is a little bit like his uh, somewhat scattered and a tiny bit distant uh, relationship to his Estonian roots. So the first movement is called Old Folk Song, and it weaves this old Estonian folk song that Lembit heard through the movement. It's a little bit veiled and a little bit hidden throughout. And that's a little bit like his, um, I guess, distant image of Estonia. And then the second movement is inspired by a specific story that his grandmother told. It's called The Legend of the Last Ship and Other Collective Memories. And she said that she escaped Estonia in 1944 on the last ship before the Soviets closed the borders. And later on, Lembit realized that all the other Estonians of her generation claimed to have escaped on that very same last ship. So you might hear a little bit of that sense of uh, one-upmanship and really animated storytelling uh, between all the four instruments of the quartet in this movement. So we hope you enjoy the first two movements of These Memories May Be True.
Hello, my name is Emma Frucht, and I'm one of the violinists of the Isuri String Quartet. The next piece that you're going to hear on this concert program is the first two movements of Sibelius's String Quartet called Intimate Voices or Voces Intime. Sibelius is perhaps best known as the father of Finnish classical music. He really helped to define what Finnish music would sound like within the Western classical music canon. He took a lot of influence from Finnish folk songs and folk music, and I think you can hear it throughout this entire quartet. He wrote this piece while living in his countryside home, which he called Ainola, after his wife, Aino. And he worked here to escape the bustling city life of his hometown of Helsinki which he associated with his struggles with alcoholism. So he went to Ainola in a sort of self-imposed exile. This string quartet shows a very special side of Sibelius's compositional style. It's very dark and personal and introspective music. I think you can especially hear this in the first movement with its meandering melodies full of longing, perhaps longing for his home city of Helsinki. The string lines blend into each other and we pass things seamlessly. The first movement goes ataka or without pause into the second movement, which is much lighter in character. We almost like to think of it as dewdrops on grass. Sibelius was very, very inspired by his environment and the world around him. And I think you can really hear that within this music. So here are the first two movements of Sibelius's string quartet called Intimate Voices.
Kozasa of the Izuri Quartet, and the last piece on our mini program of Songs and Echoes of Home are two songs by the Armenian composer Komitas Vartapen. Komitas was an ethnomusicologist, a collector, and a preserver of ancient and beautiful Armenian folk songs. And all of these songs that he preserved are kind of like a little window into the Armenian soul. There are several of them out there, so we encourage you to check out all of them. They're so great. And though Armenians today are physically scattered all over the world, I think whenever they hear these songs, it really reminds them of home. 
and it brings them that much closer together in soul and spirit. So today we'd love to share with you two songs. The first one is called Ech Miyatsni Bar, or Dance from Ech Miyatsin. And the second one is one of our all-time favorites. Uh, it's a children's song called Kakavig, or Song of the Partridge. And if you've loved any of these selections from our program today, you can check out the full length uh, piece on our YouTube channel. Thanks so much for listening, guys.